When was the last time you took an internet paper and went to the doctor and said, but doctor, I read this on the internet? Oh my God, how many times? <laughs> and, and I apologize, I think I apologize to my doctor as well. It happens all the time, right? Okay. And, and, and not just with me, now it's even, in fact, goes to my parents, right? So when your parents, you speak to your parents and they say, we're having this problem, you know, you go online okay. and you check. So, so he's online, a, got it. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to ask you another one because yours was too easy. <laughs> there are 12 venture funds over here, okay? Will you fund one of them tomorrow? Uh, or in the next 60 in days? Personal capacity, uh, I do that and yes, I would. Good, good. Yeah. He says yes, yeah. got it. Okay. <laughs> so, so, with this, um, I, I think we're going to do a wrap because uh, there's more to come and you have tomorrow, you have devices, you have a lot of exciting stuff. I just want to end by, uh, you know, allowing that one minute session and then telling everybody that your questions are brilliant. Keep them coming because we will continue to keep answering them. So we have a one minute wrap up from each of our panelists. One minute each or one, one minute, minute for all three? One minute each. Okay, good. So I wish we had more time because there's so much more to talk about. Uh, I think this has been a fantastic discussion. It's been a privilege to be here with you. But the, the, the one thing I want to leave you with, uh, because I think it's so important, the role that physicians and nurses play in the decision making in terms of how you're going to use technology in the organization. I visit hospitals all around the world and uh, during those visits what I'm doing is evaluating their use of information technology to uh, improve health care uh, for their patients. So there's two questions that I always ask when they when they present to me, they show us their, their governance model of how they manage and their information technology infrastructure. The two questions I always ask is, are your physicians included in your governance process? Are your nurses included in your governance process? If they're not included, then I would submit that your implementation of information technology is probably not going to be very effective. Thank you. So that's what I would leave you with. That's, that's brilliant. Okay. So a couple of things I would say. Number one, IT is an enabler. It is and it always shall be. That's not going to change, doctor. That's very clear. Number two, there's a technology transition happening in the industry. With an open mind, I ask you all to embrace that transition and really adopt IT in that fashion. And number three, get the learnings. There are people who have done that and made mistakes. Get the learnings. You almost are starting in, in a broader sense with, with minimal legacy. That would be the three points, I would say. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I mean, uh, and, and this is my time to sort of do a little advert on Oracle, right? So, uh, so we are, we are, <laughs> we, are, we are smack in the middle of this, uh, in, in, in that sort of smack world. I think you are going to see a tremendous amount of exciting stuff starting to happen uh, with, with sort of the effects of mobility, uh, with the effect of data explosion, data capture, and analytics being driven out of it, I think. So, so stay tuned. Uh, give opportunity to a whole lot of people who bring these ideas to you. Be open to sort of these ideas. That seems to be the theme sort of from the panel. Uh, and yeah, I mean, and I think we will make mistakes, but I think we will get it right as well because there are various other industries that this has already happened. So you have the advantage. You don't have to sort of make the same set of mistakes, let's put it that way. Perfect. With that, let me thank our panelists for being absolutely brilliant and uh, so open. Let me thank all of you as an audience. Tremendous inputs from all of you over here. And uh, let me just conclude by saying that this, we live in one of the most exciting times in history. We can literally look into any part of a human body. We can cut it, laser it, irradiate it, transfer, transplant it. We can do a bunch of things. We can look into the DNA. We can analyze different DNAs. We can predict into the future. And yet, at the very same time, people in many parts of the world, not just in India, are being denied basic care, whether it's an antibiotic or an oral rehydration to save a baby's life. There's a lot for us to do. And every step that we do towards improving quality and reducing cost will go towards enhancing healthcare in general. So let's remember that we're on a tremendous journey together. It's not just a journey, it's not just a business, it's not just a passion, but it's a calling. 
and all of us are crusaders on this path so let's put the energy and the openness of spirit and mind to work together to create this new way to create this path forward and make something special happen we need to transform healthcare IT is one of these tremendous tools which will support the doctors and the nurses towards our enabled world thank you so much for being part of this journey let's make it happen together thank you, thank you so much sandeepa i would request our panelists to kindly remain seated ladies and gentlemen with that we come to an end of this part of the conference but the conference is definitely not over yet we have a lot more in store for you we would like to thank mr karan bajwa thank you.